Anyway, you'd think these two would fight it out, so we'll see how that system fits here. <coughs> Glorious day. Rail in the two-metre position on a good three. And there's our starting signal for the first event of the day on CFMEU Labor Day at Ipswich. The light is on. We're ready to go. Waiting on Tenacious Jack. They're off an hour. And Tenacious Jack was the first to bound out of the gates. And Dazzling Knight began OK. And Vazda Torres will split that pair when they settle. Lucky Lucas settling back on the inside of Toshinaga. And Tasani stars last of all. Out by the 1,400 metres. And Dazzling Knight goes to the lead. There's no speed on. Vazda Torres is sitting second on the outside. Tenacious Jack is about three parts of a length away on the fence. They're walking here. Toshinaga is fourth. Lucky Luca on the fence. And Tasani star is last of all. Wants to pull on the rider. Might have to make a move on to Sani Star. He might just have to let rip and he's going to do so now. That is Sam Payne. And in the back straight they go past the 1,000 or 1,100 metres mark and Tasani Star has whipped to the lead here. Out by length. Now Vazda Therese has gone up second the outside. Now the leader puts the brakes on. They're followed then by Dazzling Knights back in the third position, followed by Tenacious Jack Lucky Luca and Toshinaga's last of all. They go to the 900 metres mark and Tasani Star leads the way by one length of Vazda Therese. A similar margin to Dazzling Dazzling Knight on the fence, one length away, Tenacious Jack, a bit more than a length of Lucky Luca and Toshinaga's trying to get around him. They're on the side of the 700 metres, Mark Tasani, Star and Vazda Torres. They led together, Dazzling Knight two lengths away, Tenacious Jack's under the stick, Lucky Luca's next on the fence and Toshinaga's last of all. They get to the corner, they've got 400 metres to go and Vazda Torres on the outside of Tasani, Star led, oh here's Lucky Luca, Lucky Luca split horses, got in the clear at the right time and is about to come home strongly. Vazda Torres led on the straight at the 200. Lucky Luca on the outside is coming after him. They'll fight it out, the favourites. Vazda Torres and Lucky Luca. Vazda Torres is going better than him. Vazda Torres too good close to home. And Vazda Torres beat Lucky Luca. A gap to Toshinaga third from Dazzling Knight to Sani Star. And last time, Tenacious Jack. Well, he had his chance, Lucky Luca. He really, the pace of the race probably didn't favour him. But he got through quickly between horses to put himself right on the back of the winner when they got around the home turn. And he was in very strong position to challenge. But once Byrne went for Vazda Therese, found plenty. And has gone home to win. And win by about oh, a length on the line. Lucky Luke has run second. Pace of the race probably went against him. He's probably better in a big field where they go quicker. And Vazda Therese was probably just a little bit too nippy for him today. And four run fourth, Toshinaga. 3, 1, 4 and 5 are the numbers. The winner of the race, Vazda Therese, is by Henry the Navigator out of Dan Zavit, a daughter of Dan Zero. He's a four-year-old brown gelding. It's his 17th start for his fifth win, trained by Robert Heathcote. Having a good run at the moment, Robert. And Jim Byrne, the winning rider. The winner scored by a length with three and a half between second and third. Uh, 33-35. That might be the telling tale while Lucky Luca couldn't reel in the winner. 33-35, the last 600. And the overall time of 144 is just close on three seconds outside the class record. So they did walk most of the trip. So uh, Lucky Luca, he, he kept coming to the line. He just found the pace of the race beyond him today. You get him in a big field where there's a stack of speed on, he'll be winning very, very shortly. You got the numbers 3145. Runners returning to scale will stand by for notification of correct weight. So we stand by for weight on 3145.